go. All right, welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm your host, Nicholas Mercadante, and here tonight with me, we have... I'm Colin. Actually, I'm Colin. I actually joined first because I called you uh -huh. this time, so I should have gone first. Yeah, well, I'm the podcast. So I, wanna, so I wanna, the wanted, to, wanted to let you know that. Yeah, all right. All right, guy. I'm Justin. Don't call me that. Uh-huh. Cool. And? I mean, that's about it. Like, no, do we no, give I out know. The gamer There's tags? another person that comes in after Is you. there? I believe so. Oh, hello, and <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't see oh, there. Oh, oh hey! Whoa. <laughs> nice of you to join us. Hi, I'm Angela. Uh, for some reason, you guys are breaking up, so I couldn't hear when uh, Justin finished. I apologize. Oh, okay. Oh, it's all good. well, you're breaking up, so I'll I'll ex I'll believe that excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Very brave oh, of you to believe Sorry, that. no, I need an excuse. But okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is some tasty audio. <laughs> We're already off to a fantastic start. Was oh, it really bad? No. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> your your audio is passable for, for for what we're doing. It's not like terrible. Um, it was better oh, than it's better really than bad last bad. week where fucking. Oh, oh my god, Colin's gone too. I can't. What's happening? No, no. I was just hitting the mute button on my. Oh, all right. Over okay. and over again. All right. Very cool. Um, last week, fucking Drew just just started talking over the intro that I was trying to do. I was just like, bro, please just Yeah, I listened to that. <sighs> yeah, <sighs> but it's whatever. Oh, no, Anyways, now we're here. Uh, we had some topics lined up, and then they immediately got destroyed for the sake of lack of spoilers. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> if you want to say your bit, Colin, about the hit show The Boys on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's, it's a good show. It's got some good acting. American Simon Pegg is really um, unnerving. What do you, like, it's Simon Pegg, but he has an American accent? Yeah, it's really weird. But it is Simon Pegg. Yes, it's Simon Pegg. Okay. I thought it might have been, like, some Simon Pegg look-alike or act-alike. No, it's it's Simon Pegg doing an American accent, and he's... He goes, Huey, Huey, come over here. <laughs> and, like, uh -huh. it doesn't sound like Simon Pegg. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so that was the entire topic because he just wanted to talk about well, the boys. Well, because I don't want to spoil it for people yeah. that That's will fair. go unnamed. <laughs> <laughs> Again, very brave of you. Um, and then we also thought of talking. The, wait, Justin, do you care about spoilers for a documentary about uh, what is it called? Fucking airsoft fatty. Oh, I mean, not at all. Airsoft but like, fatty. am I just gonna sit here and do it? Um. I, I mean, you can watch I mean, the video we while we talk the about it. No, All he right. Needs, he needs we, won't, <laughs> we won't tell you the conclusion of the duel. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the highlight. So, I guess the background on this video... Hey, on Mike! Mike! I got something for you! <laughs> oh, God. The the background for this video is... Uh, this YouTuber <laughs> named iDubs went out to... Uh, was it Michigan? Is where it's at? Battle, Battle Creek, Battle Michigan. Creek, Michigan, yeah. Uh, and there's this YouTuber out there by the name of Airsoft Fatty who has uploaded a large number of videos just detailing his life out in bumfuck nowhere. Um, and I guess really, the TLDR uh... is that him and his friends are just really autistic, but they're just having fun with it, so, like, <laughs> the, the beginning, the, they go, hey, uh, these guys actually have autism, so like I, I'd like to talk, talk to them, and they're like, "Oh my God, what's it like working with Fifthly Frank?" <laughs> yeah, but he's just, like his whole first day, he just was like, "Yeah, I couldn't actually talk to the guy I wanted to talk to because all of his autistic friends were just pestering me for a day, so I just left my cameraman with <laughs> with Airsoft Fatty, and he got some good footage." They but, went to the corner store. Yeah, it was. It was a good documentary. Like, I I mean, it was still very, very much... I thought it was well put together. Yeah. I thought the videography was absolutely phenomenal. And regarding the content that it was on for fucking autism kids, I thought it was fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was still very I think it much sounds cool. of, like, he's, you know, still obviously making jabs at at these people like as he's recording just like like when the oh uh when... dude 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 the the part where he goes so like you have a demon inside you oh, yeah. <laughs> and you go yeah you go so what's your demon's name <laughs> it can't be i don't got the right equipment to say 
the demon's name. <laughs> oh my god. Angela's dead. And she's back. Uh, yeah, no, that whole sequence, what, what was the guy's name? Um, Robert. What? Robert. Robert, yeah, fucking Robert's whole thing was kind of terrifying a little bit. Do you have any weapons? <laughs> you mean beside this one? <laughs> <laughs> Whips out a knife. Nah, nah, I don't. Nah, just this one. Uh, one time, one time, I, he like the. Oh god, the story told where he's just like, oh, one time I sparred with a dude with with knives. Who's <laughs> 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 like, knives? What was his name? I, I didn't catch the name. <laughs> just, just the lack of details. Was Do so you guys think if I watch this at like sixty times speed, I can be included too? Yeah, go. <laughs> Probably. It'll take one minute. <laughs> so what'd you think? <laughs> oh wow! Hey, nice. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah, big funny. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and then I, I, I just like the part where like he asked him about because they they both like the, uh, airsoft fatty and this Robert kid who are like the main focuses of the video. I would say like airsoft fatty is the main focus, but then there's like a subplot with this Robert kid who used to do laser sword fights with uh laser, but, sword. laser sword look man i forgot the, light, the term lightsaber point five Light seconds sword? and i just wanted to roll through it with um, laser sword. So, <laughs> you had to call him out just whip out my laser sword hey i'm sorry i'm not a true hey, star wars fan okay Her face when i whip out like Dude, you, should, Daddy. you should argue with sastra about about no, Star Wars one day. no, I hated I that. I have, that was and weird. it was literally uneventful because I was fucking right, and he was a puny little bug that I smushed. <laughs> I have like a, I've got, I have a three-minute video of him yelling at Nick about it. It's so funny. Dude, I was there for that, and it was <laughs> the worst time? time ever. Yeah. That shit was terrible. Like, I... He goes, you are not a real Star Wars fan! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta even go... What? How can you have an argument with with Justin Sastre? I don't think you can. You you don't. Yeah. I yeah. That's what I. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. But so they Robert and and Airsoft Fatty were having like a feud or whatever. So they went to Robert's house separately to talk to him because Idubs wanted them to have a fight for his video. Uh. <laughs> and he opens the door and he goes, "You found me! Congratulations!" <laughs> and then like. <laughs> And then just, it goes downhill. Colin, it's so proper when you say it. Oh, thank you. It's because it's one of these kind. Uh. Uh, speaks their language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was really confused why they had subtitles. It's like Duck Dynasty. But it's just... Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, um, but at one point they were asking him like what his favorite Star Wars fight scene was, and it was the same exact answer as Airsoft Fatty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> he just I'm looks so at the fine. camera like he he's like got the shit eating grin on his face. Yeah. I love that. That was it like meant nothing. <laughs> but for some reason, it had such significance. No, because they're it shows it like they're they 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 were friends because. They shared that kind of interest in Star Wars, like I don't think they were that they could love the same fight scene in the in the same movie. Like I don't know, it was it was gold, it was golden. But yeah, I like I saw that hour long tag on the bottom, like holy shit, like, this is oh. real. And then I sat through it at work instead of doing work, and it was great. I wish I could watch videos at work, but no, everything's air gapped. What? Wait, what? You can't My even entire... watch videos. I mean, I can if I like wanted to. Every time I pause it, like switch the fucking the the keyboard switcher to the machine that's not air gapped and pause it. <laughs> I wish it worked someplace not real. Hey man, Cracker also, Barrel is like, a my very desk, real place. Actually, my you know desk what? is like no, it's not. No, it's away not. Away from the don't lie um, to me. Hall, so like whatever. I everybody can see whatever I'm doing. So oh it's, like, yeah, okay. At least, yeah, the thing weird. with my office is I've got, like, a tiny little cubicle that is completely separated from everyone oh, else. Oh, that's, that's nice. I, yeah, but, like, I also like human interaction, so, like, I would probably, one, get more work done, and two, like, enjoy myself more if I was in a space where I was working with other people. Like, MITRE, I, honestly, I still slacked off a shit ton at MITRE, 
but at least there I had people next to me who were like other interns my age so I could like talk to them sometimes mm -hmm. but it's whatever um but I want to ask you Justin now that we've exhausted our topic that you have no understanding of um yeah thanks for that yeah uh <laughs> how's Cracker Barrel I really want to know what that experience is like because it sounds cursed what? It, it's so crazy. You don't. I I can't put it into <laughs> words sometimes because not only am I at Cracker Barrel, which by itself is just already just hey man. I know there's some literally on bottom trips, of the barrel. On trips. Hey hey. All right. Yeah. Hey. hey I go. Hey there. I go there. You could be. Sometimes. You could be doing IHOP. Yeah. No 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 no. But it's not only that. It's me by myself at night most of the times. <laughs> what is your shift? <laughs> yeah, those videos are great. Tonight? Oh my god. <laughs> They're fucking Wait, terrifying. Uh, so are you gonna have a job at the Cracker Barrel in Rochester? Uh, I thought about it and uh no. Uh oh. I thought about it long and hard. <laughs> Working but... at a restaurant is actually like soul sucking. It yes. Yes it is. But, but you don't yeah. even have to deal with like customers though, right? Like, well, yeah, the best part like... about being by yourself is that you're by yourself, yeah. right? But Wait, at the same you, time, like, can you like put music on the loudspeakers? What do you mean? You feed the racist ghosts that haunt the place at night. <laughs> oh. Um... <laughs> Cracker, you, you, you can't tell me Cracker Bells aren't haunted. Of like, okay. what you get in versus and then till you get out, like what what all right. goes down. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait. Someone else said something, and I. <sighs> Can you put music what on the loudspeaker? Do? That's right, that's around. right. Uh, no, Colin, you oh, can't. They, they keep the music on at night <laughs> at full volume country music everywhere, oh. and they refuse to turn it off. Oh, my you, God. What now, the I've fuck? asked, I've asked, and they said no, and I can only assume it's some sort of, like, containment ritual for something. <laughs> I don't... You turn the country off, the beast to, gets unleashed. To, to yeah. <laughs> but, oh my, it's just a time. Oh, although I, I used to dishwash more, and that was, like, kind of fun, and at the same time, kind of the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you know, <laughs> boiling, and you, they're running around, and it's dishes. Like, it's pretty boring. Yeah. But, I don't know, the, the by-yourself one is just kind of surreal. So, like, <clears throat> You're out there. Yeah, alone you, country you, music when you, you get in you get in clock in then what do you do all right do you, you clock in yeah you go you, you do the bathrooms i mean okay. all right funny yeah, right funny, ha -ha. okay <laughs> nice um uh you do those oh another it's uh, it's so weird I've, I've i've had a few revelations <laughs> one the woman's bathroom is always worse <laughs> and maybe maybe it's just because it's old people, but it's always oh. so much worse. Dude. Oh. But maybe it's because it's so much bigger than the men's bathroom, which is wild. <laughs> Wait, and not what? only that, that, they have they have. But we two... also have like. Yeah, you have you have stalls. Okay. Stuff that stuff. we dispose. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's super fun to get rid of too. Um, <laughs> uh, and you also got like two like different like well stocked baby making stations like one's like a porcelain baby like counter stations? baby uh, baby making uh, or baby uh, changing. changing sorry baby, <laughs> hang, baby changing station look baby, baby hanging mean, station you can use both i mean, <laughs> I mean dark, cracker, hey. dark cracker barrel uh, show me the baby you go behind station. like behind the dumpsters you got the baby uh disappearing station too yeah uh you really got the, it all. are the coat hangers included or do you have to bring your own uh, it's it's recommended you bring your own. The ones there are kind of kind of sketchy, kind of sketchy. <laughs> um, so yeah, no! and uh, the men's bathroom has one broken baby changing station, <laughs> and then Lovely. uh, oh God, I hope Susan finish that. Listen to this. <laughs> you finish that. You you roll oh, out. Shut the fuck. Up. And <laughs> you roll out and. It's time to do the bacon. And you sit there and you make 864 <laughs> pieces of oven baked bacon. Oh. Wait, they pre make the bacon? They it's oven bake the barrel. bacon and you keep it there on this shelf like overnight for the next morning. And is then you it, do that like every day. Like refrigerated? Thing? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, like, yeah, yeah, you cook it, you throw it in the refrigerator, and then I, I don't really know what they do after that. You couldn't, yeah. <laughs> could be anything. Um,. They put it in the right. again. <laughs> By this point, it's 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 getting it's getting real late, and it's time to clean off the barrel juice that has <laughs> soaked into the floors everywhere. What do you wait? All right, what, what barrels? Juice? What barrel? The barrel juice. I don't know what I don't know what else to call it. 
It's <laughs> this goop that collects they don't from tell all... you? <laughs> well, like, it's worse than the dish room. It's this kind of a goop that collects and, like, goes into the soles of your shoes and then, the, they don't tell you. then your own little soul, your own soul. It's, yeah. it's like this, it's, it's a mixture of, like, water and soap and all of the different food that is slowly, like, made it there over the day and all the dirt. And it's just, it just, it's oh, ever so present it's like a, in the like dish room. And it sort of leaks residue? out everywhere. No, no. Wait, it's like... What? Okay, so the so the uh, what are they called? Servers. Those guys. Yeah, they come yeah. in. They scrape off the food on into the garbage plan, garbage right. can, and then they miss the garbage can the whole time. It lands on the floor, and you're like, thank you. And then they take the dish, and then it still has tons of food on it. So the next dish on top of it like will fall over for sure. And then they put it on top of a dish that does not look similar. That way, it's <laughs> almost certain to fall over, and then break everything in the room. <laughs> And then all that food on the floor just kind of slowly makes its way to the, to the drain from all like the water that just is in the room, what do you and mean everything kind of collects room? together. Do they just spray well, it? it's like well, you're spraying everything down because you're spraying all like the dishes and all like the stuff that's coming through. Oh, like, so that's the big so that's part of your process. Thing. You are spraying down the kitchen area. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Um, and so there's just this goop that collects. That's just made of every kind of food and everything. And it just gets everywhere, and then it starts to like dry and like become like mm. some sort of monster, and you have, have to you spray it off before it gets too it? strong. I have thought about it, and <laughs> someone offered to pay me twenty dollars, and I said, "No, that won't cover the hospital bill." Yeah, that seems like you would need to <laughs> give a lot more money. How much money would it take to get you? To, like... <sighs> That's I've thought about that, and I just can't think of like a finite sum. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think well, you if, understand. If somebody, if somebody did odds, what number? Would you <laughs> what would the odds be? It depends where I'm at at my shift. Like, if okay. I can get to the hospital to like leave, then like, <laughs> just, I'll go. I'll go for it. Like, it's looking, it's looking a little tempting. I so, love yeah, odds. Eat, like a whole big ass spoonful of hot sauce so of that like um, uh, hot ones hot sauce. It's sucked. Oh, Ugh. Um. For our They're viewers wrong. at home, Odds R is a fun game where we play. Where... Everybody knows who's Odd. Everybody knows what Odds is. Everybody knows what the no, fuck Odds is. Up. You say that, but there are going to be people who don't know this. So I'm fucking yes. How, okay, up. Nicholas Mugger, I'll say how many people listen to this. I've, I'm a, let's check, let's check the let's check the views. Let's I'm check the views. I'm future proofing. Let's check the views. Call it future, I am uh -huh. future proofing. Okay, please just let me have this. Odds are. Okay, wait. Go to the go to the Wikipedia page. Make sure you don't get it wrong. Oh my god. Why don't you explain it then? If you know 19. So All right. Odds you eat that <laughs> disgusting thing. 10. 3, 2, 1, a number from 0 to 10. Same number. Eat the thing. Done. Thank you, Colin Thank Todd. You. I bet Thank if you. anybody Crash does course. listen to this in the future and they don't know There's what odds green. are is, they aren't going to know what the fuck you're talking about. <clears throat> we can just be, we can be a, like a, a river to like the old people. We can explain everything like... The yeah. millennials yeah, exactly. do. This is yeah. This is gonna be a millennial. And that like, Regina is what guy. is is what odds is. Regina. I, I know That's this Regina. isn't the only place Stop. with Stop. juice Regina? that collects. Regina. By the way, I like uh like I went to like this vape store once with my friend, and they had <laughs> what they called the mystery flavor behind the counter, which was just all like the different like vape stuff that it's like collected into the carpets. Oh, what the fuck! Oh my Ooh. god, it just like Ooh. squelches. There's just. <laughs> I don't know. There, I think every like chain business has some sort of like entity that is consuming them from the inside. So anyway, yeah, I spray that down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get rid of that. I wash that down the drain. Yeah. Um, I sit there and I sweep everything and then I spray like some more. And I I cry, and I get behind like the three hundred degree ovens and I'm like, great, cool. I get to do they this keep some more. On? Well, you keep them on to do like the bacon, and then She's you have to turn them bacon. off, and then you have to turn them back on in the Are morning to warm them up. Monkey? I didn't know that was the bacon oven. Sorry. How long are your shift? Are you? Do you have eight-hour shifts in the night? They're about eight hours. Well, sometimes the they're fuck? lower. It depends. So, like weekends, I come in like later. Like tonight, I'll be going in like later. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait, you have work after this? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's. Uh, maybe we'll do a real late 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 night one. I can call. I can call it from the. Ooh! Row. Yeah! 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 <laughs> if we do, yeah. I, wait, you're not going to be doing this in the fall, though, right? You're right. Yeah, it's got to be soon. Okay. What um? What are you doing in the fall? Uh, I'm having an internship at a uh, Ansys in nice. Cannonsburg, PA. What is what Fun. do they do? They what do weird mechy stuff. 
When? Um, for... Are you free the 24th? <laughs> of August? Yeah. That's probably when I'm moving in. Okay, I'll, I'll see you then. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> You can drop uh, all your stuff. I'll, I'll pick you up. I'll, I'll not not for welcome like, back I'll, or something. You'll no. just swing by. You'll just, just pick me up. He's just gonna swing by. Don't you worry. Yeah. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's also not all at Vero. There's there's plenty more to do in the night. Uh, okay. Ugh. What else? Yeah. You have to you have to mop all the floors. Yeah. Um. You have to stare at all like those paintings of like the million like different people they have. Yeah. All the. Uh. Americana you have to memorize. They've got. They've got all that classic Americana stuff. <clears throat> And yeah, and then you like you, you they get there. You uh, you sweep out the parking lot. You sweep out like the, the front porch. They, they sweep out the parking lot. lot. Uh, I don't sweep the whole thing. I just go around and pick up like the trash I see, but I'm supposed okay. to. Like on I the thought, sidewalk. I thought you meant the yeah. Dumpster. Well, like the sidewalk and everything, I have to sweep. Like actually sweep, but like everything else, I don't have. I'll get I get away with not sweeping. Yeah, what and the then fuck? <laughs> some what? days I make grits and gravy in the morning. So if I you guys want to come down know. to like the middle of garbage PA and get some grits I made at 6 a.m., mm -hmm. you can do that. Are they good? Do you make them for yourself or just for, like, customers? No, just customers. Oh, okay. Like at this point, there could be nothing on the on the Cracker Barrel menu that Justin would say is good. Just just from exposure that, to You know, kitchen. that's not true. That's not true? That's not true. Oh, wow. Give me a, give um, me a I forget what they're, they're like. They're like eggs in a basket thing. It's like like the, the bread. That they, oh, it's tasty. That's what I'm talking about. I, that's good are, stuff. That's what I'm talking about. What is eggs in a basket? It's the it's the toast with the egg in the in middle. In the middle, of it. it's so good, oh. dude. I'm that's how we almost that's got the sun. Uh, that's how that's how a it, sunshine egg. Well, wait, I've also have, heard it called a eight, snake eye. They have eight billion snake names. Eye. Snake eye sounds yeah. like a sex. It's like eggs nest, eggs in a basket, that those things. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that's like my favorite like way to cook an egg is yeah. so good. Poke a hole in it I'm, and let them have a piece of bread, yeah. like a glass. I, Thing and then you just crack an egg in it. I made like eight billion of them in the kitchen last year. You didn't give me any? Well, now you can come on down to Cracker Barrel and just have some. Yeah. Well, you weren't ever around to get them. I would have given you one if you were there. I didn't know. Yeah. And I made some in Zach's apartment, but I didn't turn the heat down because I forgot <laughs> and it um, set off the smoke alarm and while we were all. Uh... You're that fucking guy, Colin? It, okay, so, so <laughs> You're that guy. the fire alarm didn't go off. It started beeping in Zach's apartment only, but we fixed it before the whole building went off. Okay. That's but the but, uh, public that. safety officer still came. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fuck, you fucking idiot. Colin, I'm bouncing through, and we're going to have some sunshine eggs together. Yeah. Are you... I'm going to have someone you pick me up. Are you... oh, I won't have my Cracker Bell discount anymore, you know? though. <laughs> She's dead. Oh, well, what did you I, say? I said, uh -huh. are you here in the fall? In the fall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Justin is the one who's not here. Okay. Well, that's cool. Isn't she, yeah, you know, Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, Dude, yeah. I'm e -board. Keep up with e -board, okay? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> CSH e -board, I don't even know what's going on. Angela, what are we doing week zero? Yeah, fucking me neither. Who <laughs> uh, boy? What are we doing week zero? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what are, like, we're not gonna just like do nothing. We're gonna go. We're gonna we go gotta, to like we've got the Texas tour, Roadhouse tunnel tour listed and wait, what? I don't mean that. I don't mean CSH <laughs> events. Oh. <laughs> you can, you I mean, I mean, we're gonna be hard. there. We're gonna be seeing each other for the first time, like a bunch, of, all of us together for the first time in a bunch of months. What are we doing? That's what I mean. I don't mean what CSH events are on the calendar. <laughs> oh, I, I was, it was after you oh, were talking about e so I, I linked the two. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Denny's at four a.m. Yes. And then Sauce Tray can pay for my food again. <laughs> And then actually get Owen to pay? Yeah. Did Owen not pay oh, man. Days? And failed to get his dick sucked? Oh my god, can't <laughs> wait. What? Is there some background here? Hello? No. Oh no, no, I'm completely kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus no, I'm Christ. not. <laughs> I thought, I thought Denny's was... <laughs> I thought Denny's was cursed after Olivia puked in the middle of it. Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, uh, she told me about that. Aww. 
Yeah, whenever somebody vomits somewhere embarrassing, she tells that story, and it always successfully makes someone feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make me feel better when I threw up in my bed. No. You know, truthfully, it didn't make me feel better when I threw up in the car. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, Justin, remember when you threw <laughs> up in my car? Well, actually, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the problem. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. That was every, like, step leading up to that moment was just a train wreck and a half. Yeah, you told me. You were I don't want to think. Oh, so sorry. fucking gone. And then I was just like, hey, if you're going to puke, Rolled out the window and puked out the window. He started opening the door to puke out the door. And then I said, why are you opening the door? Puke out the window. And I think the problem I think the problem that you had at that moment was that the windows only go halfway down. So you were having a hard really time getting your getting your head out the window. And so you decided, door is better option here. In hindsight, I guess you were probably right, because that probably would have led, led to less of my car getting puked on. So really, I did everything right. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't see how Gonzo's at fault at all here. <laughs> Gonzo still I didn't make a single mistake. Window. No, you could have put your head out of the window. It would have required a little bit more effort. Then he would have puked all over the side of your car. But, That's like, when you're like ready to throw up. You can't put out that effort. <laughs> That's like actually. Yeah, impossible. we gotta like yeah. Dude, you got a short. You got a ticking time bomb. <laughs> I felt so bad for Bichu and Ali when they had to take care of me at, after that one frat party. <laughs> were you? Were you? Ganja? Were you on full of that? <sighs> it all blazed together. What it happened? Was, it was the it was the one where Speechu left his phone in the Uber, and we had to wait outside for him to get it. And but like they'd already picked up another ride for like an hour. We finally went in, and I had only I was already like, not I was already like at a good level, and um, I That's like twelve shots in. <laughs> um, I think that's not inaccurate. Um, oh it was a it was a full Dr Pepper bottle of the 151 stuff, um, oh my God. and then Christ. Allie had more of it. First of all, Beachu gave me two things of jungle juice, and then Allie had more of that. <laughs> it just keeps going. And, and she was like, "Do you want this?" I'm not gonna. I was like, "No, I don't want to be a burden to you guys." And she was like, "It's fine." I was like, "Okay," and I, I was just an idiot. Actually, I can say I'm a, I was a retard, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Legally, you can say that one. Legally, yeah. you have the pass. And um, then I, I threw up over the side of the deck, and then I asked Allie to buy me a burger. She bought me a burger. That we... The guy uh, grilling. Yeah, and no, I ate it. What's up? I was on the floor, and I remember Allie coming back and tell, talking about it. Sorry, yeah, yeah, okay. It's all coming and, back. <laughs> and I ate it in two bites, and I was like, that's really hot. And then I threw it up. <laughs> that's really <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was. So you were you were very blackout at that point. No, I, I didn't black out then. Did it black? How did you? I don't like your constant. I didn't black out and I didn't have a hangover. Insane. I've still never had a hangover. Oh my god, God, I wish that were me. Definitely He's a big boy. A hangover yeah. after the. I fucking... used to be like that. I used to be pretty pretty immune to hangovers, but as I drank more, I started to really like want to die in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I... That, that, wait, that doesn't have to be hangover. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I, uh, yeah. Wait, I, I already wake up like that, so. <laughs> Let's say that it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm usually pretty good about it just because I am, like, always dead set on drinking a shit ton of water. Like, I try to keep a water bottle with me whenever I do this shit. But, like, the few times I haven't, it's, yeah, it's always gone downhill. And it's yeah. been terrible. I miss We're making I miss money. Good. I'm sorry. <laughs> So how are you making money, Justin? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Wait, Angela, have you played me in Word Hunt? Have I played? Oh, you Word in Hunt. Hunt. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I have. No, no, I don't think I have. I don't well, know. I knew... All I know is that I kick, I kick like Zach's ass, and I kicked Sastre's ass, and they're like, "Oh, you have to play Justin. Justin's insane." And and I don't know if we ever played, but I don't I'm think like we really did. Good. Is it is I'm, it the one I'm... by App Tornado? I don't. Uh, I would... By App Pigeon. It should be the. Pigeon you wouldn't know. One, you yeah. don't have an iPhone. Oh, fuck you. Oh, 
But anyway, I found a place where you can bet on it, Angela. Oh, we bet now. <laughs> yeah, you bet on it, and Ooh. you know. Ooh, what are we betting? <laughs> but we, well, I mean money, but I guess it could be whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, you were thinking money. <laughs> My fucking dirty ass. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. No, 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 no. It's a little late. No, 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 no. You can't take this back. <laughs> I was thinking like I was thinking like making you eat the goop. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? Uh -huh. You can't uh -huh. do that. You can't. You can't save that. Mm. <laughs> what? There's what no retroactive. Big <laughs> mm. oh, thing. Oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah. Um. I'm excited to go to parties again. Yeah. After, Are you ready to live that party life? After coming home Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, and sitting at my desk and reading PDFs <laughs> for all summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, will be a good time. I'm pumped. I'm looking forward to PDFs. It. Yeah. That's I'm what you did at Raytheon. No, that's what I did <laughs> when I got home. Why are you reading them at home? Because I want to learn Lisp. I'm learning Lisp. Lisp? Yeah. It's not that hard. You just take like a screwdriver, okay. like a Phillips head or something. Uh -huh. No, 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 the other one. And then you put it right in between your two front teeth and then you take a hammer and then you just- Stop, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> the mental image is already making me cringe. Please stop. So Lisp, Lisp is a programming language. Wait, wait, wait. Angela, you seem like very like knowledgeable subject. <laughs> do, do you have to go with the screwdriver? Are there any substitutes? Can you, you just- probably just spackle. Yeah, spackles. Spackles. <laughs> oh, that'll just go like right in between though, and that'll like maybe cut you. Well, you I'm that'll, pretty like... sure the screwdriver will also cut you because it'll go past your teeth <laughs> and like into the back of your. And throat. what do you what do you do with the teeth? <laughs> if you're lucky, it might just kill you. Just go straight put in your, your pocket. brain and kill you. Does the tooth fairy pay more for adult teeth? <laughs> put them in your pocket. <laughs> then it just becomes more teeth. No, I mean, <laughs> if you if you give your you know your adult teeth, those don't grow back. So that's like. Well, I guess that's way more valuable. Well, yeah, but also hell consider yeah. that your baby teeth also like you don't get baby teeth one after your first set, like pop out. You know, your adult teeth come in after your baby teeth. So I feel like like I thought the same thing at first, but they actually do have the same value. They're both rare, so I think what? they should still be the same because your your baby teeth only come out once, right? You don't get a second set of. Baby but they teeth. are always right. But people want the adult replaced. teeth more. <laughs> So people oh, value oh, them more. They're, sorry, they're both the same sorry. amount of Where rarity. Where did Jacob sense The way you phrased that was so funny. What what people want that? Like, <laughs> the who the fuck doesn't want that? What are you talking about? Uh, oh. Colin? <laughs> what? Who the fuck doesn't want to have their teeth? Who else, like, saves their teeth? Who else still has, like, their baby teeth? I do. Uh, I still uh, have, like, a, a little, little, it's it's a little ceramic camel in my room, and I don't know why. why. What? Oh, I you were one of those kids. Yes, he was yeah. retarded. We know this. How, wait, how does the tooth fairy get to it if it's in the camel? No, he's... Uh, I, mean, I, I never believe the tooth fairy. Oh, what the fairy. fuck? What? Wait, What's the know. point? That's like the most fun part about being a Because I was like, she'd wake me up. She'd wake me up. There's no way. She'd wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's tiny funny. tiny comments that... out is just like, I am ever... You can't sleep past me. Is that, is that the honest to God? I sleep with one eye open. Because they knew that you just wake up. I... I, I got a I got a toy crossbow from the Staples Ferry when I got my head staples taken out though. <laughs> you what? Uh, I cracked my, one of, in one of the six events in my life that has caused my head to be cracked open. I need to have staples. One of six? This explains yeah. so much. You weren't born this way. Um, I think it actually made me better because I was worse as a kid. The only thing that makes sense. Yeah, have you never seen- have you never seen this? Have you guys never seen the scars on my head? No! Oh. I'm a Harry Potter scar. <laughs> it's not a lightning bolt, but it's in the exact same place. No. Chris. No. I've never knew that! <laughs> 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 Ricky, are you okay? No! 
what? <laughs> Colin, what have you done? I don't know. Dude, this is like when I told Olivia about the time I fell down in the shower, didn't stop laughing for like 12 minutes. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Was there somebody in the crazy. other stall? That's no, crazy. no, it was just that I, I was, I just, I was almost done showering and I slipped and I had to take an, I had to like re-shower because it felt so gross. And Olivia thinks that that's the funniest thing in the world. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy, dude. Oh. Jesus Christ. I can imagine the kid next to me is there, fucking staring. <laughs> it was a really good thing there was no kid next to me because like my no my fucking my feet like swept under. I would have tripped him. <laughs> then you both could have been laughing Just together, but sitting on the floor. A double takedown. <laughs> can, can I? Can I please get a timeline of these six incidents? The history. Okay. So I. Okay. I was like three, I was jumping, my mom told me not to jump on the couch, I jumped on the couch and I <laughs> fell and I hit my forehead against the coffee table with oh, a stone, fuck. and I went to the hospital, I need stitches for that. Um, Wait, a uh, stone coffee table? Yeah, I did that again, but with like a, a fireplace, like a raised fireplace. Oh my god, um, why, how? I was at Boy Scouts, no, how? and Hold I, uh, on. How'd you do I, was, I was running and I tripped. Um, I was I was at Cub Scouts and I was, we were playing Manhunt and I ran I tripped over a um a tree stump and went flying into a picnic table. Um, <laughs> I Colin Todd's always going too fast. He's my, go fast. I, was, I was trying to do the thing where I I looked into a um, a keyhole to see the other side and my brother opened the door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How hard did he open it? Uh, I needed stitches. Well, okay, yeah, but Jesus Christ, that had to have been fucking. Ridiculous. Wait, like you know the the like bone like that's right the on bone. like right under your eyelid, uh, yeah. uh, eyebrow. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, and that like skin your skull, is, like, dummy thin. You mean your skull? Yeah, yeah the skin <laughs> like split open. I needed stitches. To yeah, that my... skin Ew. under there is like dummy thin. Yeah. Like I have a scar that I got from like who knows fucking what, but it just scabbed, and I just picked the scab, and now it's fucking scar. Yeah. That's like, you really don't have does. to. Have your face bashed open from a fucking. I um. Door. I also I dropped my my bionicle on the bus and I went down to get it and the bus hit a bump and the back of my head slammed against the um. The of the and knocked me unconscious. And, it was, and, and, nobody, and nobody noticed until like the, the like blood started like going to their shoes. And the bus driver was like. Paper towels! And then they're like, oh, Mrs. That'll Todd, fix this. Mrs. Todd, please come here immediately. He's and then that, that's the one I got. He's unconscious! That's the one I got staples for. <laughs> that's the <laughs> one that finally did yeah. enough damage to hurt you. <laughs> Conta, fate is after you. <laughs> well, the, la the last one was in fourth grade and it hasn't happened since. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't think I've been actually majorly injured since then. But you I keep that, whatever you got like, it all out of your system. Yeah. When you lay back, you bash your head against something like well, behind yeah, you. It's I'm bound strong. to be something sharp next like year or something. You're just gonna fucking split your head open again. Okay, well, uh, you guys will be there. <laughs> what is a stone coffee table? We're gonna laugh I don't our know. asses it might, off and not call know. for help. It was it was a long ass time. I don't remember who like what house it was even in. I just remember it happening. See, that's so funny that we're talking about this right now, because my one of my little sisters, like, uh, sh Sophia, she we just learned today that she has a peanut allergy because she started breaking down <laughs> in knives. So while my stepmom was freaking out and tending to my fucking sister, Sophia, my other little sister, Elizabeth, decided to, like, take a leap of faith into the and fucking eat. corner of the coffee table and <laughs> split her chin open. So they had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> to what? get her chin glued shut and uh, they took Whoa. the other one to the doctor first and the doctors there were like you should probably take the other one to the emergency room what do you, so what do you, say, day. What do you say glued shut so what are all of our like dumbest and worst injuries uh god I, I it's not really a bad injury but it's left a permanent mark um <laughs> in like seventh or eighth grade maybe eighth grade um me and uh, a friend of mine at the time were just fucking around in, like, our science class or whatever. 
and for God knows what reason, it came to the point where uh, he stabbed me with a pencil in my <laughs> Dude, that exactly <laughs> happened to me, and then there's a little graphite under yes, the skin that's there. That, I have one of those. There. I have one of those. Yeah, the graphite is just in my knee forever. There's just a mark. <laughs> there's it's, one on my chest. It doesn't hurt. Somebody's... I hope it's not going to cause me any joint issues later in life. But just like... fucking, fucking around as friends do, you know, one thing leads to another, he stabs I, me. I, I, it, was a, it was tenuous. It was a tenuous <laughs> Just dudes friendship. being dudes, you know. Or it, it, it was more of like a friends of friends kind of thing at that point. But we oh no! Then team. this was a vendetta. This no. was an assassination attempt. No, no. You didn't know this, this person. Then this was this friend. What? This friend just was kind of like probably a little autistic, and so he just took things too far sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's probably the worst. I can't think of much else. Oh, there was one time, also an incident where I was fucking around with a friend of mine, but back in kindergarten or first grade, um, and. <laughs> We were fucking around, and somehow he, like, fell on my hand, but in such a way that it caught, like, as he was falling, he caught one of my fingers, I think it was my pinky, and it just went, <laughs> all, it went all the way back. Yeah, all right. So how in the world is that not the first one that comes to mind? Because that was so pencil. long ago, and I don't, like, it, well, the pencil, it just... Well, that's, like, significant, because it's still there. Yeah, like I could, I could see his oh. finger is still there. <laughs> oh, fuck you know what you. else is? Okay. You know what else is still on me? That when I scraped my Your knee, head? healing. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, the like oh, mark from God. when I scraped my knee, healing, and they wouldn't let me into a closed Z-ball to get the the first aid kit. That sucked. <laughs> I was like knocking. I was like knocking, and they were like, Colin. Go the fuck away! And I was like, "Can I have the first aid kit, please?" And and they were like, "What?" And I, and I, I, I lifted my knee up and showed them I was like bleeding over the all over the floor. <laughs> oh my god! Bird. Holy shit! Did they at least pass it out to you, like? Yeah, they okay. they gave it to me eventually, but there wasn't enough gauze in it, so I just used paper towels and scotch tape. Wow, just like the bus. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not over the bus, dude. I'm other. still not over the bus. You just really? got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People just didn't notice until it, I, it was like it was like it was like the kind of thing where where like you get knocked out and wake up like three seconds later or something. Oh, okay. But like it was it, it was like the time passed. Yeah, yeah. That's that's spooky as hell. Holy shit. I mean, he got knocked out by like what, like a 19 ton like a machine? Come on, that's pretty strong. <laughs> 19 ton? What the fuck? Also, I don't think that's how that math works out. I don't think the entire a, force of the bus, bus came down. I looked up that. how heavy is a bus. No, I, I is it 19 how, ton? I'm not, I'm not concerned about how heavy the bus is. That's not how much he was... The, that's not the force he was the hit force, with. Yeah. It sounds no better, gravity. though. Yeah, well, I'm here for facts and facts only, Justin. Wow, so. you're really just throwing <laughs> facts and logic today. See, yeah. what I think about... I think about the kids who are like... In See, uh, like in front of him or behind him that saw the fucking blood trickling down was there nobody yeah, like, oh. <laughs> or on the other side of the aisle what's up was there nobody like next to you on the other side of the aisle Honestly, no. nobody wanted to sit near the autistic kid. yeah nobody <laughs> nobody wanted to sit near, <laughs> near to me so oh, my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting question though like did you guys have like Friends that you hung out with on the bus ride, on your bus rides to school, like throughout. I got bullied on the bus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh, I didn't get to see my That's injury, which I guess I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it. Sorry, yeah, oh, no, sorry, wait. I didn't mean to cut you there, Justin. What, what's your injury? No, it was just when I got second degree burns on my dick. But now I'm more interested <laughs> in Angela's story. Hold on, hold on, now. That's much more interesting. No, 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 Angela, Angela, you had the. I didn't hear what Angela what did Angela say? Me and this other girl and this guy, we were all sitting one of those three seaters. Uh -huh. I was at the end, the girl was in the middle, the guy was at the other end, and we wouldn't let him off the bus until he Oh you told me that yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? You got to show the you other girl and trying dick? to get we were like bullying him into something. Wow! <laughs> did that's you sexually you sexually assaulted this man? You that's sexually so harassed fun. him? We were like in elementary school. <laughs> we were like, oh, this is last the month. How, how did you like plan this out? You like looked at her and I was like, it's time. We gotta know. We gotta. Wow. What? We were all really good friends. <laughs> wow. Children are cruel. Jesus Christ. It's all right. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. But who, who brought up that condition? Remember. Who said the condition first? 
Two was like, <laughs> all right, if you want out, I know what you gotta do. <laughs> Yeah, was it you was or your friend? It was. See, I think she told me that she saw it already, and I was fucking away. That's so unfair. I was like, "You're showing me," and so I think it was actually. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Fucking hell! <sighs> Holy <Christ>. shit! <sighs> yeah, the bus was a time. Yeah. Um, All I did was sleep we, on the we bus. Please quickly go back <laughs> to an explanation for Justin Gonzalez on you got burns <laughs> on your dick. That did happen. Yeah. Whoa. How? Whoa, wait. Were you sitting in the wheel seat with the really hot thing, <laughs> and did you like were you like wearing shorts? <laughs> well, and that would have burned uh, his legs as well, though. Like how? No, no. no. Okay. okay. Well, he didn't okay. say I got second degree burns on my dick and not my legs, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Colin Todd, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So. God damn. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know how to. I've, I've said this story so many times. I've never had known how to turn it into an interesting story that isn't just really sad and painful. <laughs> but it's fine. But, it doesn't have to be. Um. So it was a good. It was like a good good day. It was like I was. I had a day off school because I had like a doctor's appointment coming up. Nice. Uh, I was with my mom, and we're like, oh, it's like late, but let's get some like you know some like ten ten o'clock breakfast at like mm -hmm. Starbucks. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, ooh, I'll get some. I'll get some tea and like oh, a, like a blueberry muffin. <clears throat> uh, I love this leading up. <laughs> and I go, I go to put the uh, the tea in the cup holder, and I go, oh, oh well, the cup holder is full. And I'm like, Mom, what do I do? She's like, ah, just just stick it in your lap. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Um, I, I take a sip. Ooh, that's scalding. That's way too hot for me to drink. I'll just keep it there for a minute. You know? Um, and then we 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 pull out of like the Starbucks like parking like like drive through and like into the next intersection where immediately. Uh, there's like like a red light hits and my mom slams on the oh. brakes and I tense up just a little bit just a little bit and that's just enough to make like two drops of tea like fall into my lap oh. and then that is really hot which causes me to tense up a lot which causes the cup to explode and the rest of the tea to fall into my lap. <clears throat> oh no! Um. Be like cue cue the screams because like I'm burning and I can't do anything about it because I'm buckled into like a thing and I'm like what do I do and my mom's like oh my god what uh take off your pants and I'm like what no you're my mom <laughs> I was like I, I can't I can't do that in front of my mom right so like I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to burn right and she's like no no just take them off please and I'm like all right I'm I'm dying um shit boy and, I die. And she, she, I, I'm still like crying, and it did not help because wow, that it burns. Um, and she's like, "All right, well, we're gonna get you home real quick, uh, <laughs> and like run like a run like a cold bath for you." So then I am um, for the first time, and probably not the last though, crying at a bath, um, <laughs> sobbing, Honest. just sobbing because wow, it hurts, and uh oh, <laughs> are those blisters? <laughs> <clears throat> um. Uh, I, I got some Tylenol, and it really just didn't help. <laughs> it turns out that like a, a burn like that needs a little more than that. So I was like, all right, I'm taking to the ER, and I don't really I like my memory just starts to like cut in it out. All I remember is like screaming, when like then drinking some medicine and then crying, and then my mom to go to a hospital now. So we go to Johns Hopkins, and I have to sit there <laughs> on like this long car ride in like a way that my like entire like lower part of my body isn't touching the chair. <clears throat> and just kind of like arch that back the whole way. You just do some stretches. <laughs> oh, and then uh, we roll into the hospital, and <clears throat> they're like, oof, wow, that, that sucks, dude. Um, maybe we'll have to do surgery. And I was like, 12-year-old me is like, no, no, you're not, you're not cutting my dick. <laughs> it's not gonna happen and they're like i mean like we it might just be what we have to do and my mom's like come on it's whatever i'm like no you're not gonna cut me open and touch my dick, <laughs> <laughs> touch my dick. <clears throat> um um and they were like all right all right we'll see how it goes just like lather yourself up with this cream i guess and i'm like <clears throat> and uh get your tetanus shot and tetanus shot what tetanus shot. I, didn't, I didn't have my tetanus shot and they're like yeah we should get that oh. right here and for some reason, I was still really scared of the needle. Uh, and I remember that more than anything else. 
tensed up. Um, and that, that that's really it. That's what happened. You still have like scars and shit. No, no, it's fine. That's good. You wouldn't admit to it. I mean, yeah. Oh. Well, well, when I told you the story, she assumed I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> Fucking incredible! Yeah, that sucks. That sucks big time. They could have. They they were gonna peel your dick like a banana, dude. You think they would have? You think they would have given you like a make a wish thing before they? <laughs> <laughs> like usually, you gotta be time. But like we, yeah. we can make an exception. This man hey, is buddy. losing an important part of him before he. Dude, how do you think if they let you do? If, would they? Would they be like? Would you? They let you say like. Oh, would you? Would you? Like, I, would you. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> would, uh, <laughs> like, uh, I want to have sex with Jenny Carlson from Pee Wee Three. Like, do you think they let you do that? They got you. Gotta like. Yeah. This is, this is his make a way. Like the fucking Rick and Morty <laughs> episode where Jerry what? has to sacrifice his dick. He's like just. Oh, that's right. His last moments with it or whatever. No, I thought I thought it was gonna be like they chop your dick off and then you get to bury it and like there's a funeral for your dick. What? <laughs> like, press F to pay respects for your dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, <sighs> okay. Now that that has been, you've gone down that rabbit hole. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Going on, going on the bus rides back in school and stuff. Like, Colin, you said you you got bullied. Yeah. On your school bus, that that sucks. That seems like a pretty bad time. It made me stronger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go, <Kayla. laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, did it? Did it? Like, did it stop eventually, or? No, it still happens <laughs> today. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean? Did it stop? <laughs> what, what, have we been, what have we been doing this whole time? What are you saying? I mean, like I get, I, like, I get on the shuttle to go to my job, and this homeless man. Call it. I mean, in the in the period between kindergarten and twelfth grade, did it stop? In during yeah, because I, I I stopped going on the bus. Okay, thank you. You asshole. It's a fix. You knew what I was asking. Come on. I didn't. Oh my god. Okay. He's autistic. You have to take it. Yeah, this is why we make fun you of have him. To, you have to say things literally to me. Yeah. I don't get metaphors. Come on, man. <laughs> it wasn't even like a metaphor there. <laughs> it was. It was. How was, yeah, how was, your, it was how a was metaphor your bus, for Ricky? Uh, it was back when you were what a brony. I. Yeah. Oh. That, honestly, that was Excuse not. Me? That was Wait, not Andrew, you didn't know that? this? How the fuck did you not know that? Oh, is that why people make fun of you for fucking no, horses? No, it's no, it's no, that's a, unrelated. That, that's that's what? A, it's a, unrelated. It's a wonderful coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's really one of the greatest I, wonders of the I world. I would call it a terrible coincidence, but yeah. Um, that's just because he's a country boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you have to talk when you're at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, you're fucking lying. I, I'm I'm lying. God, okay, I wish that was you. true though. Jesus I Christ. love people being forced to use southern accents when I walk into Ooh. the cracker barrel. Okay, please tell me about this brony thing. <laughs> that well, please enlighten me. Okay. So I, I feel like I've talked about this on the podcast before already, within eight episodes, but in the period of uh I think it was like eighth to ninth grade it wasn't very long it was it was like three years at most at most. <laughs> three years. um but i think it was probably more like two how old are you i'm 20, 21 <laughs> a seventh of your life <laughs> <laughs> please don't remind me like that i don't like that i don't like that one bit um i yeah i was a i was a my little pony fan um funny enough actually now that i think about call it, it what it is colin it, I was Brony. Um, I think I got into it, Colin, because I was a huge fan of like Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter at that time. And Mike. Michael Jones was was like doing yeah. streams, and he he and and some other people were were big big time Bronies. Yeah, uh, my, Mike Croon. Yeah. Oh, Mike Croon was the biggest. Dude, ball. the Fluttershy thing with Mike Croon is oh, so funny. God, it's fucked up. Um, Mike Croon and Mike Croon's just. <laughs> 
front of my Wait, have you seen the uh, the Stranger anymore. Things 3? You can make that argument. Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah, you could make that argument. What? Have you seen it? I've seen this. Yeah, I've seen season 3. What are, yeah, yeah. There's, they... there's My Little Pony in it. Oh, right, Dustin. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, he, he defends it. First, first brony. First brony ever, all time. Um... <laughs> but yeah, so I, I mean, there's not much of a story. I just was one, and then I stopped being one. Uh, ironically, I actually made some, like, friends that I am still friends with uh, through that, and none of us are bronies anymore, but, like... What are, like, the brony channels you go through? So, like... the main thing that I did <laughs> was I... There was an art streamer who, who drew all kinds of stuff. Not, like, not uh -huh. just MLP, but they hey. drew MLP stuff as well. Hey, um, all kinds of stuff. And so... <laughs> They, I have to say it like that. Um, <laughs> so the, I was, I would avidly like go to their live stream and like, even when they were off stream, I would just like talk to the other people in the chat room or whatever. Um, not a, not a Is really this an good, IOC chat room? No, it was, I, it was a service. It was like Twitch. It was like a precursor to Twitch. It was just called live stream, I think. Um, and they've just. Oh, uh, was it Justin TV? No, it was not Justin TV. It was literally, I think it was called live stream. Um, and I mean, they just, the chat rooms were still open after the, str when the stream's offline. So people would just hang around and talk to each other. And so from there, I went to another person's stream, like what, when they, uh, rep themselves and through that chat room, I got invited to the Skype call that they were in. And then that's how I became friends with, with them. And then we just, I don't know, we're doing shit for a while. I was on a brony minecraft server for a bit that was interesting Ooh. i there was thinking was... that like most of my connections were like craft based so i'm glad to see yeah. that there's there's some common ground <laughs> yeah oh there was oh my god i completely forgot there was an even weirder connection through that so the minecraft server that i joined i actually did that before i uh started following that stream and one of the guys that i met on the minecraft server and talked with like a decent amount i think i actually asked him if he could make me like a modded pony skin at the, in the in the minecraft server a modded because they 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 did a thing where your like minecraft character wouldn't be like the human it would be like the pony and so you uh -huh. could like make a modded skin for that um and so well, I asked, what was it i it was just, do you still have it <laughs> no i don't have it anymore uh, you know where you can find it uh no um I asked Would him you to tell make us a, if you did? A, no. <laughs> uh, I asked him to make a skin for me. Time passes. Forget about that. Then the guy who invites me to the Skype call and then we become friends is that same guy, completely unrelated. And like we find, like we realize, like a couple of months later, and we lose our minds over it. Like, cause what? What were the fucking odds? It was like how you and me were at this uh, call and we're at the same RTX. Yeah. We knew each other. Um. It was crazy. And then, I don't know. Then, I mean, it was basically just, I wasn't really having a good time at school, so I just spent my time online, and it was, like, a decent community to be in, at least the parts that I was in, because I know there was, oh, a lot of fucking netbeards, and it just became more and more apparent to me the longer I stuck around. Um, but the people I met were nice enough, and that's why I'm still friends with some of them. Um, and so by the time we were all, like, hey let's not do this anymore. This is kind of bad. Um, we, the, the thing was, by the time we were burnt out on it, we had already bought tickets to uh, 2013 BronyCon. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, no. And, and so we were like, hey, we already bought the tickets. Why don't we just meet each other in person? Because we haven't met each other before, and it'll be cool to see each other in person. And then just walk around the convention and, like, just people watch for a day so that was like that was like what i would consider like the official end was like that event but also like me sort of cementing friendship with with some of the people i met through that um and it was exactly like you'd imagine it it was like woo. there is a, one of the people that we hung out with like literally made just took pictures throughout the convention of anybody he could find with a fedora on and there's a video on youtube uh that is just sent to <laughs> the spaghetti remix of uh, Eminem's uh, Lose Yourself. <laughs> Just, like, of hundreds of photos of fucking dudes in fedoras walking around this convention center. It was something. <sighs> That's pretty... Hmm. Yeah. 
Um, but so, what do you yeah, do when I, you're a parent and like your like your daughter loves My Little Pony and then like she goes to one I of these and it's just <laughs> well, and it's just <laughs> for girls. <laughs> Bro, 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 not not gonna not even shooting you right now. I had a moment where I had to like tell my parents because like there was no way I would be able to go to this convention, like without letting them know in some capacity. And so <laughs> it was it was like what I would imagine coming out is like, but without any of the stakes and way way more cringy. <laughs> God, oh, I'm cringing right now just thinking about it. Oh, that was a real thing that happened in my life. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Holy shit. That's call. like, that's like, ooh, ooh. You know, I'm actually low-key jealous. How's that? It was fun. It was in, I went to Las <laughs> Vegas to go to Minecon. You went to Las Vegas? <laughs> yeah. We oh. stayed in the Luxor to go to Minecon. <laughs> And I, I met the Yogg's cast, and they signed my mouse pad. <gasps> nice. Ooh, do you still have it? Yeah. Awesome. It's sick. Okay. It says Louis Zephos, um, Simon Honeydew, and Hannah Lamadia on it. It's cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then that's that's also the trip I learned what tipping was, because I saw my dad tip, like, by just giving his change to a woman, and my dad gave us, like, a $20 bill to go get frozen yogurt, and it was, like, $3, and I just put the rest of the $20 bill in the tip show. <laughs> I was like 11. <laughs> Dude, one oh, there was there was one time when I was in uh, New York City walking around and I think I, I was pretty kind of young and some homeless dude came up to me uh, asking for change and so I just looked in my wallet and without even thinking I just gave him whatever bill was in there and I think it was like a 20 and he was just like uh, so he just started hugging me immediately. I was just like, Aww. "What? Oh, okay. Th yeah, no problem." And then my dad was just like, "Yeah, he's like going to be He's like super excited because you gave him a fucking twenty. <laughs> just like, oh, is that just not like, I don't know. I didn't have a like sense of money at that time, which I guess isn't a terrible thing, TM. But like, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> there was one time where my mom gave this homeless guy the rest of our water bottle. I don't know. He just asked for it. My mom was like, all right, here, and. We were, like, going in the same direction that he was walking. And for some reason, I don't know, this is very wee tiny me. I was infuriated. I was so <laughs> mad that we gave this guy our water. And, like, we were, like, walking in the same direction. He was, like, way ahead of us. But I was, like, racing over. I was, like, what is he going to do with my water? Like, what is he doing? And then he just started smoking. He was just Jay chilling. Like, the guy was just walking. And I was he so was angry. To have oh, my some God. Water. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was no. <laughs> I was just so mad. Oh my god. That was your you water. Heard, you heard it here I first. Know. Angela hates poor people drinking Stop water. It, no. Oh my god. Come on, Angela. Um, so, come yeah, on, come I don't on. know. I, I guess... Don't, don't do that to me. I what never had the money to make these financial mistakes. <laughs> someday you will. You'll, you'll get big, big bucks someday. Well, but then... See, the problem I is think, that you don't... Like, think... you, you know about money now, right? Like, you know... What a shame. Yeah. I never got to throw it all away. Yeah. I think so. purchasing that programmable air horn might have been a financial <laughs> mistake now that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so don't, don't let the buyer's remorse get you. Yeah, dude. Come on. You M4, just gotta, you gotta uh, stick what, with what your gut. What is it? Um, Kaweat Mtor. Also, I thought you, you were I don't know what the secret. fuck you just pronounced, but I know it was wrong. No. <laughs> it's not. It's let the buyer beware. Highway yep enter. No, C A C A V A. What language is that? Latin. C A V A. Oh, of course oh. it is. Then it is and fucking right. Whatever. That's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh. Who took Latin? Who took Latin? <laughs> my Who took Latin? Who? Tell me. Um, but yeah, going back to the. Who went to your homeland? <laughs> Not you. My homeland is with the Moors. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> You're dirty. Fuck you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Los Moros. Oh. The Moops. The Moops. Um, I had Dude. a friend on my bus rides for a period of time, but then we oh. became no longer friends. And I think uh, the story I told before about our, we fell apart pretty harsh. Uh, and I stole his Pokemon went cards. To a school. <laughs> and so I just didn't Yo. know anybody on my bus ride because I lived in the middle of bunfuck nowhere. But. Talking about Pokemon cards. <laughs> I know what that's like. I once had this, like, boyfriend that was, like, 
ever what since like, like? preschool. <laughs> oh man, good question. Um, <laughs> Allegedly. And uh, so we like dated for like a couple of years, and then he moved away, or like he started getting Did homeschooled. You say preschool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, and then uh, and then I didn't <laughs> see him for two years. And, like, I thought he was dead. Um, <laughs> turns out he wasn't. And then we saw each other, like, in the, uh, in, like, in a... In co- the local Costco. <laughs> no, it was actually on a playground. We, like, met up on a playground. <laughs> like, totally unintentionally. And I was like, holy shit, it's you. And he was like, holy shit, it's you. And then we stayed, like, together for, like, a couple more years. It was <laughs> pretty interesting. Wait, w- at what age was that then? Like, this the was, second time? By then, it was, like, elementary school. It's really what? funny, because now he deals cocaine. Um, <laughs> and punchline <laughs> before that he would just give me pokemon cards so like i have like 600 plus really really old pokemon cards that i just got from this kid i like got most of his collection just because he just fucking gave it to me Bro. and holy shit i have like that mew like <gasps> legendary the, mew ancient, card. Mew? the ancient mew card what, yes what condition is it good condition oh it's pristine Oh. What? oh, you got money. You got cash money on you. Man, right. I, I played those games. Yeah, that's like an yeah. investment. That is an investment that you can. You yes. Can what was yes. I doing in preschool? <laughs> wait, actually, actually, no, wait. According to to my father, I would take girls behind the crib school and kiss them. Oh. <laughs> Why do you specify your father? It sounds like you don't remember doing that. I don't. <laughs> hmm. I in elementary Dad school. I, I I think it was like the the teachers told them about it, and I was in trouble. <laughs> in elementary school, the like the like artistic that I was. <laughs> I, I read this book about like this material called piecrete that was just like sawdust mixed with ice. Yep. And I was like, I want to make that, and so I made it, and it's supposed to be stronger than ice. So I brought in a block of piecrete and a block of ice and a hammer for show and tell. <laughs> And I put them both on the floor, and I was like, <laughs> to one, and it broke, and then I did the same thing to the other, and it didn't broke, and then everybody was looking at me, and because I was a fucking, like, little asshole. How did with you bring two ice? Yeah. How, how and I hammered that? at school. Uh, oh, I just got, I, I got on the bus with them. A terrorist act with a hammer? <laughs> it's like those kids who no come one, to like, school with Nerf guns. No one, like, said anything. They just put it um, in their bag. It's like those kids who come to school with like AK 47s. They just put it in put their it in bag. The bag. Dude, Uh-oh. dude. At my <laughs> high school, Newtown High School, this girl cheated on her boy. Cheated on. Uh, like, this girl cheated on. No, a boyfriend cheated on her girlfriend. And then the girlfriend okay. said that the girl he cheated on her with had a gun in her backpack. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Time to call the fucking F. or uh, SWAT. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. That was a fun day. <laughs> you get the day off? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Net positive. Welcome to America. Really? I'm, I'm glad Connecticut. that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Newtown, Connecticut. Wow, I hope nobody from my hometown Judyville. listens to this. <laughs> Maybe I don't someday. think I have much, many friends from there anymore. Anymore? Yeah. Oh, I still got a couple. I got a bunch, actually. A few. Just a few. That I, I have, like, five or six I would actually care. But the other else. tarts. I just got it added back, or added into a group chat of a bunch of people from, like, our high school lunch table or whatever. Um, oh. And I like most of them, uh, but there are some of them that I definitely felt glad that I wouldn't have to communicate with ever again. So I'm just kind of staying. Like, I have another group chat that is of the friends from high school that I actually like talking to. And being around, and I have them in one group, and then like I just got added to this one. I don't know how much I'm gonna talk in it, but we'll see. I don't know. Have you? Did you guys have those people in high school that like you associated with, but yes. like you were so glad <laughs> once you got out of high school that you would never have to interact with them again? Mm-hmm. It's like I thought that's where that sentence was gonna end. You just associated with, and I was you like, you know, yes. Dylan Chowdhury. <laughs> 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 you know, Devin Matei. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sorry that didn't work out for you. That's, that's yeah, weird. no, it kind of backfired. You kind of, you kind of signed up for it though. When you went on insights and literally slept in Devin's room, you knew what you were signing up for. Yeah, but I know I'm gonna have one year after he graduates, so <laughs> it's all worth it. Hold, hold that hope. <laughs> one year of freedom. 
I mean, well, you'll have the rest of your life actually after that point. So really. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't the, know the, ne oh. the next like five years of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, except gonna, for like welcome back. None of us are gonna make it past that, right? I'm like, not. I'm not. I'm. 26? I'm dying at. That's got to be the hard limit. I'm dying at 27. That's my. That's my end game. <laughs> You got your retirement plan that Gus had with the shotgun. Yep, shotgun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh god. Well, that is that is an hour killed. So if you guys wow. have anything else you want to mention or talk about, I'm down. But otherwise. Uh yeah, come to my show in uh, Rochester, April. Um. <laughs> April, uh, don't what? pressure kids on the bus to show you their dick. Yeah, that's that is sexual harassment. <laughs> uh, so. keep your cup holders clean. Yep. Don't work your Cracker Barrel. Yep. Uh, definitely don't be a brony. You're going to regret it. <laughs> uh, and if you don't regret it, you're probably a neckbeard. Do you own Fallout with Questia? What? Mercadante? Do you I own Fallout no, with Questia? No, I started reading it. Um, oh I my fucking god. I didn't know about, uh, I didn't know about Fallout at the time. I never played any of those games. So it was just some, it was just really just grimdark mlp basically that i was just reading um and by when i when i say dark it was like really kind of stupidly dark like i i started playing new vegas recently and like yeah you can shoot off people's limbs and i guess that's gory but like they the, the way they describe the gore in that in that fallout equestria story was just like just over the top and unnecessary <laughs> um i'm glad that my joke prompted a real response I'm happy about that. Because <laughs> it was a real... Yeah, I'm sorry. It was a real period of, of life that, that happened for me. Oh I don't God, know. Fuck you, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a lot of repressed memories that I'm probably not thinking Did of. you buy the hardcover? No, I didn't have either of them. No, I just read it online. <laughs> but, yeah. I yeah, I, I did... There there was, like... There was, like, some main fan site that I, that I would visit, like, on again. the reg, and that would post news about, like, MLP stuff. <laughs> Uh, there was a time. There was so much stuff in that MLP server. I don't know. We could go on about that for a while, but I think I'm gonna cut it That's off next for now. Episode. That's so. next episode. Yeah, yeah, the sequel, right. maybe. Yeah. All right. Tune in. Well, <laughs> Featuring Cracker Barrel. Good night, y'all.